Hi there, Tara here again. Today I'm talking a little bit about supplements. I do recommend supplements that have been well researched in my practice, particularly for people that are suffering from depression or anxiety that either want to stay off of a pharmaceutical or get off of a pharmaceutical that they've been prescribed for their symptoms. So some of the ones that I recommend um, most are omega-3s, the high quality fish oil or vegetarian omega-3 supplement, looking at dosages between three and five grams. So that's going to be more than what you're going to see on the bottle, but that's the therapeutic dosage that a lot of functional medical doctors and psychiatrists are actually prescribing for symptoms of anxiety. Also really good for improving focus and concentration. And again, it's an overall anti-inflammatory for the system in general, for the whole system. So look into some omega-3s. Another one I like for anxiety that's also really good for acute anxiety is called L-theanine. And this is a supplement that within about 15 minutes can really help decrease those acute anxiety responses. It's also really good to take before bedtime for people that are having trouble falling asleep. And it's really, really safe. It comes in a chewable format sometime, sometimes and is really safe even for kids and teenagers to take. And we're seeing lots of kids at really young ages, as young as five and six now, that are showing symptoms of anxiety. And this is something that even they can take without the side effects that they would get from a prescription drug. And in general, most of these prescriptions haven't ever been tested on developing brains and what the long-term side effects of that might be. So I always tend to look at some natural uh, supplements as an alternative for kids, teens, and adults, but always check with your own professional as well. Another group of uh, what they call adaptogens that helps your body respond and be supported in times of stress would be things like ginseng, holy basil, ashwagandha, look into some good quality B vitamins. All of those will really help support your system kind of from the inside out. So take a look at those. If you have depression, I'm going to say look at probiotics. Lots of good research for probiotics and depression. High doses, minimum of 20 billion IUs a day. When they gave women that had mild to moderate depression that dosage of high quality probiotics, what they found was that in two weeks, their symptoms of depression had decreased by over 50%. That's a higher result than what you're gonna get from most SSRIs and faster. And you're not gonna have the risk of psychosis that a lot of those drugs have, particularly Prozac. And so this is always one that I think everybody should be on on a daily basis, but particularly if you're suffering from depression, this is a really good place to start. The other one that also outperforms SSRIs and has a lot of research um, backing it, particularly against Prozac again, is this broad spectrum anti-inflammatory herb called turmeric. And they're finding that it's showing better results faster without side effects than Prozac and many of the other SSRIs. So add some of these in with other things that we know that are researched as being better than pharmaceutical like daily exercise, even 10 minutes a day, particularly in nature, is going to help support your nervous system, help you self-regulate. Um, watch your diet, reduce your sugar, um, reduce your grains and your, your intake of refined carbohydrates. That will also really help nourish your nervous system. Eat regularly, fat, carbohydrate, protein on a regular basis to manage your blood sugar levels. That will help not support an anxious state that will help keep you regulated if you're eating regularly in the right combination of foods. Sleep. Sleep is the great regulator of all time. It's the first thing that we're going to work on in session. If it's not, if you're not getting enough sleep, if the quality is not good enough, we need to look at different ways that are going to help you sleep, not with a drug, but natural restorative sleep. It's one of the most important things that you can do to help support your overall mental health and reduce your symptoms of depression and anxiety. All of those form the foundational treatment plan for most of the clients that I see. I'm sharing it with you here today. If you have any questions, do contact me, send me an email. I'd love to answer them. In the meantime, I hope you're well and I will see you next time. Thanks.